Welcome again to another episode of Seed where we are not looking at upon the seed that farmers use. We are not looking upon the seed that um, churches always say about, but we are looking upon the seed of life. Everyday seeds of our lives. And these seeds that we are speaking about, if you have uh, been able to look upon the other previous videos, we are talking about a young boy called Richie Kinyanjui, whom I happened to know. And uh, we are telling of his story just a bit and a few lessons that come from his story. And so I would like to welcome you in this other episode and please feel free to like and to share and even so to subscribe upon this YouTube video. And so on this particular episode, um, I remember the last one we were speaking about the seed of hard times. And uh, I remember as we were talking about um, the seed of hard times that Ricky was going through, one of the things that uh, he was going through and he talk, told me about it was about one of these times he asked me a question and I would like to pose that question to you. What happens when the people that you trust so much, the people whom you live to see, the people with whom you cannot really separate are the ones that really hurt you? What do you do when the people that you have trusted are the ones that hurt you most? I know that's a question that possibly so many people have and maybe they do not have an answer. I have not come to tell us an answer, but maybe from his experience, you might be able to find something. And so, yes, Ricky ended up in the streets as he was walking in his daily life. Uh, he could not be able to go back to school. He could not be able to do so many things. And at one particular time, as he was young and there was no one else around him to really keep him accountable and to do other stuff, um, he ended up with someone whom he did not really know, but stayed with his grandma whom he knew when he was just at the age of 10 years old. And as he met this estranged person to him then, he did not really know how to talk to him because he had never even had a conversation with his dad and also his mom. And so he did not exactly know. And I know there are some people who possibly have had or you know a child who is going through the same thing. That they've never had a conversation with their mom or their dad or any other person. And so it was so like him where the only conversation he had was with the natural things of life. He had no conversation apart from his friends. And this one particular time, he's taken away from things that he's familiar with and brought to people to whom they are not familiar with. And later on, he's forced to listen to them. He's forced to hear them. He's forced to walk in step with them and so what really happens in such particular times at one particular time there was an incident and this is where he told me this that you know what he was forced to do something that took away his innocence and the reason why he told me this is because there are so many others who are going through the seed of suffering in silence. Young boys, young girls who have gone through a process which we are not so much familiar to talk about and that is being molested. Young boys who have gone through a process of, you know, um, being forced sexually and being made sexually active at a very young age and did not really, did not really was able to express themselves. And even he, after going through a process like that, not only from one, two, but three people whom he was able to trust, people to whom they were even entrusted to help him to grow 
and to just be able to shape his life and they will come and take away his innocence and also take advantage of him and there are many others out there like that young boys young girls until now they have grown with the pain they have grown with what possibly would have been a point of just come and say it was never meant to be and i'm sorry but they have grown with the point of pain pain has been a usual thing to them and possibly to you whom i'm speaking to right now where you have suffered in silence you have been threatened that if you talk to anyone about this this is going to be the end of you because that is what happened to him i will not go into closure of the details and everything else but i know there are people like that outside there and so it is a bad thing it is you know it should not happen at all for anyone as young as they may be to just go through such kind of life and for the parent watching this i would like you to take an advantage and have the conversation with your child for the aunt watching this take the advantage have the conversation with your child the grandma because it reached a point where uh, his grandma was not able to understand what he really went through he tried talking it out and what happened was the only thing that happened was he was taken to prison not prison sorry but the police station thought that possibly his you know uh his mind has gone off and you know he could not do anything about it and so he ended up being silent and suffered in silence and so it is my prayer just like one person i'm reminded of in the bible who went through a very tough time but he was reminded of this that whatever thing they did for evil god meant it for good god meant it to shape you so that one time you'll be a testimony i'm not saying that you continue suffering in silence but talk to someone if you can leave a comment there and let us talk if you can talk to someone whom you are able to just pray with and be able to know say you know what i have gone through this for a very long time and i would love you to help me out to overcome this one thing that i was abused sexually when i was young and i have grown, gone, grown up with it until now leave a comment and let us know how we can be able to work with you in this journey